Hi! As you guys know, I really enjoy talking about book to movie adaptations. So in today's video, I wanted to talk about some upcoming YA book to movie adaptations. First up, we have one that up until two weeks ago, I was completely unaware of, and it is How I Live Now by Meg Rossoff. And it will be starring Saoirse Ronan. Apparently, this is quite a famous book. It was first published in 2004, and I've been talking to people about it, and so many people have read it. And I've been getting the movie trailer as a pre-roll for a lot of videos recently, which I don't mind at all. This book is about an American girl who goes to the UK, I think to visit some family, and while she's there, a war breaks out, and then they have to kind of deal with all these issues, and I think the group gets separated. It's a pretty thin book, so it should be totally possible for me to read this before I go see the movie. Then in November, we've got three movies. First of all, we've got Ender's Game, which I actually haven't heard that much about. I know that people are excited for it, but I haven't really seen any coverage for it. I guess there's not too much to talk about yet. But compared to the coverage that all of these other books are getting, I just really haven't heard much about it. I don't even know if I really want to go see the movie, but I do really want to read the book. If you don't know yet, this book is about a boy called Ender who goes to a military training program in the galaxy. At least that's what it says on the back. And then of course in November we also have Catching Fire. I am so excited for this. It's one of those movies where I went to the cinema, really enjoyed it, and then never really thought about it again. But with the trailer for Catching Fire coming out, I've been getting more and more excited. I actually really enjoyed Catching Fire, especially the beginning. I know that people always like the bit in the arena. I just love when they're interacting in the village and things like that. I'm pretty sure I reread Catching Fire last year because I was planning on doing a review, but I never did that. So if I still want to do a review now, I should probably read it again, which is definitely not a punishment. Also in November, we have The Book Thief which I actually don't own yet. It's one of those books that people keep telling me to read and just because of that I don't really want to read it. Also, I was never that interested in Second World War books, but recently I've become more interested in that so I might have to go out and buy it so I can see what all the fuss is about. I thought the trailer looked quite interesting, like not particularly amazing to me but I don't really have a connection to it yet. Not quite sure if I'll be seeing that movie. Then we're gonna skip to February when we will get the Maze Runner by James Dashner, which I've been recommending to people for a very long time. I really, really enjoyed this book. It is about a boy who one day ends up in the middle of a maze. He wakes up, there's this group of boys who's been living there for a while. Every day the doors to the maze open. They're on the inside of it. The doors open and they go out into the maze to kind of explore the maze because obviously they want to get out of it. But every day the maze is different and if you don't get back before the doors close in the evening, you're probably gonna die because there's monsters in the maze. I feel like it has a bit of that Lord of the Flies vibe to it. The solution to kind of the mystery at the end is a little bit predictable, but I really enjoyed this entire book. Also, I happen to really like Dylan O'Brien, who is playing the main character in the movie, so I will definitely be seeing that one. And then finally, in March, we have Divergent. I only have Insurgent right here, but they'll have to do. I really, really like Divergent, and I was very much looking forward to this movie, but then I didn't like the trailer that much, and you can never really tell if that's because it's just a bad trailer, or I just didn't like the way it was edited, or if I'm actually not going to like the movie, which would be very disappointing. Also, I keep forgetting that the third part in the trilogy is coming out on October 22nd which is quite soon. So those are some of the YA book to movie adaptations that are coming up. If there are some of these that you haven't read yet and you do want to go see the movie, I suggest you start reading them now. Although for some you do have a couple of months left. I hope you enjoyed this video and in the comments you can let me know which book to movie adaptation you're looking forward to most. And I'll talk to you guys later. Doei!